Yo, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be looking at my spin on Nemban's Ice Farm. So let's get to it. This is going to be a short video. We're going to be looking at the modifications that I have made to Nembom's Ice Farm design from his Fun Farm series. I just want to start off right off the bat by saying a big thanks to Nembom for letting me modify this design and do a video on it. Check out his original video down in the video description. I'll have that link there and you can see his whole design process on all this. We're just going to be going over the main concept of it and then the modifications that I've made. So go check out his video if you want to see more details on it. Recently, I released a video about this AFK tool mending module that you can use for keeping tools mended in farms that require tool durability. And so I first was thinking of, you know, what farms would that be really useful to add on to it? And the first thing that came to mind was uh, Nembon's Ice Farm. So I grabbed Nembom's Ice Farm from his world download on his video and then made the modifications to it. I've made a couple modifications here, and the first one was adding on this AFK mending module. In Nembom's original design, he has a really nice, elegant system in order to replace the player's pickaxe. So they go all around this system, and then they come back down this chute with about, uh, what is it, about 230 durability left on the pickaxe. So it's almost broken, but at that point, you need to replace it. So the player comes down this chute, they're holding down both buttons, they're going in there, and then you actually put the pick in there, and then get a new pick dispensed to you all through this little tiny redstone system. Really nice and elegant. And nothing wrong with it, still works. It just has the issue of then you need to make sure that you are supplying it with the snowballs and the pickaxes. The snowballs are used to break the pickaxe out, and then your pickaxes end up here. Now, you can you can still put mending on these and go mend these at a farm and replace them. There's nothing wrong with that. But I wanted to see if we could come up with a way to add on this AFK mending module in this so that we can just use the same pickaxe and take that system out. First thing we've done is, of course, change it to black and yellow, because why wouldn't Strom change it to black and yellow? Second thing was to add in the regeneration beacons. So there's one at each corner so that each spot in there is covered with regen. If you saw in that last clip, I was also dispensed a piece of chicken. And so that's how you were meant to keep going without the player starving to death was by getting a, a piece of chicken dispensed at you or pork or steak or whatever you wanted to do. But in this system, we don't need food because we have the beacons at each corner. Then we've added in some waterlogged stairs so that we don't have it fill in from both sides. So the player goes through and mines this and then it fills back in and that helps push more of the ice uh, into the water stream. And then adding on this mending module was much easier than I was thought it was going to be. All we had to do is just take the XP and dump it straight into the water stream that the player moves through. So the XP will move all the way through that water stream and it will move faster than the player. So I'm gonna use a bot just so we can take a look at this from another point of view. You can do this as a player, just do something to hold down your left mouse click, either like with the tweakaroo option or with the F3T trick. But you can see those XP orbs are traveling faster than the player, so they actually catch up to them. So because we have those XP orbs traveling faster than the player, they're always able to catch up even though they're being dropped in at the start. Because of that, I was actually able to widen this out a little bit. So there are two factors at play here. One is making sure that all the water blocks are within random tick range of the player. But then the other part being making sure that that pickaxe doesn't break before you get to the end. And yes, while well, you're over at that corner, that corner over there, uh, that small portion of the chunk is not going to get random ticked. But the bot's going to spend enough time in here, you're still getting good random ticks on here. Because of the way that the random ticking on the water works, there is a small chance that as this is filling back in, one of those blocks is going to turn to ice and stop the entire section from reforming. So that's why I kind of split it up with these uh, stairs here, these waterlogged stairs, so that if that did happen on a section, it wouldn't take up the entire row. It would just be on one of these sections here. And then also because of that, we're using uh, glass under here. I was running this with ice underneath as well. I've seen a lot of people saying put ice on there because it'll speed it up. Problem is the items don't touch the ground for that long because they float back up. So if they don't get enough momentum to fly down like they currently are, the ice is, you know, maybe kind of get it over to here, but it, it wasn't getting it far enough. So when I ran this with carpet mod using the hopper counters, I didn't see any greater rates from it. Just visually seeing, I still saw some of those blocks that were sticking behind. But again, that's kind of the nature of the beast with this farm. It was meant to be a really simple redstoneless build and uh, we even took more redstone out of it. There's no redstone here. The only redstone is this right here, the system inside that AFK module. So the farm itself now has no redstone. This is the only redstone that exists in the whole thing, except for obviously the filters and the sorting system and the shulker loader. 
And speaking of the shulker loaders, that does mean that technically we do have a finite point at which we have to stop mining. Now, Nembom's system was infinite as long as you replenished the food and then mended those pickaxes and replaced them. Uh, with this system here, since we have the AFK XP module, we don't need to worry about any mending. That pickaxe is never going to break. We're good there. And then also, because we have the regen beacons, we don't need any food. But even with that, there is still technically a finite point, and that is when you run out of shulkers. So we've put this amount of chests for shulkers in the shulker loader here, and this will store 4.5 million ice blocks, which any of you who have worked with ice before will know um, that's about 80 packed ice blocks and about two blue ice blocks. And that's it. We do have three item filters here. They're all going into the same shulker. So this is technically a three times hopper speed filter shulker loader. So this is enough to handle our 16,000 ice per hour that we're going to get coming out of this just by having hoppers going into the sides of it. And since we don't need to tile it, we don't need to worry about that. So we just did a nice, simple, easy design. And that's pretty much it. Again, if you want more details on exactly how this farm is working, the details about the random ticking of ice, go check out that Nemmom video down in the video description. Once again, big thanks to Nembom for letting me do a video on his design. Really appreciate it. This is less about creating a brand new farm like some of my other things are, but more about what kind of modifications you can add on to existing farms. So I don't think any of us out there, I know I don't. When I put out those three farms videos, I don't expect that to be the final version that you have to build block by block. I love hearing about what kind of modifications people are making to things. If, ooh, I thought of this, or, oh, I want to also add on that, and so I added that on. That's, that's really what this is all about. So have fun doing it. That's what this video was about. Again, check out that link down in the video description to see Nunbaum's original video. And down in that video description is that world downloading schematic. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye.